it's an FM back with another video another vlog and as I promised to you guys yesterday I would make a video <laughs> explaining why we haven't been able to vlog over the past few weeks a month or so basically ever since Dante came back from the field because you guys know he was gone in the field for how long a month yeah. and it felt like four months <laughs> but anyways so i'm trying to vlog while we're on this bumpy road in the woods in the dark while it's raining and we got our fishing gear on well not really this is our temporary fishing gear we made this our fishing gear we gotta go and get some real ones but anyways that's not the point <laughs> the reason why we haven't been able to vlog is because life happens and we've just been busy we've been looking houses we've been looking for houses there are many houses that we could pursue but we're not because we're looking for something specific so looking for a home is hard when you're looking for something specific and if you have a budget and for example harder out here everything's expensive. right we're in washington state and everything is more expensive on the west coast and we want some land so it's not just that we want to have a home and a regular community because that's how we've been living and we learned that we just want some acreage and you know it's a lot of people right? it is so i think the minimum that we want a minimum of one acre but really it should be at least two acres based on what we've seen the properties that we've already looked at and there have been a couple of properties that we really really liked a lot of them need a lot of renovation some of them were just too far out it would be an hour away from where we are now obviously Dante still works and is still active duty military for the next two years and we don't know yet what happens after that which makes it a little bit harder how far do we really want to be from where we are now from where Dante works from where the kids go to school do we really want to switch schools right now there's just a lot that goes into it it has been time consuming and for me it has been draining i've been tired because looking for the right house is not easy and i think what it comes down to is if we want exactly what we want or what we need we would have to build it right that's what it looks like now based on how the housing market is because the market is crazy it's a seller's market it's not really a buyer's market and uh, it's probably going to be like this for a little while even when the numbers start going down i think a lot of people are waiting for that too just like us and houses are going to be you know getting snatched off the market left and right again so i think it's just not our time right now i don't know but we're still actively looking just not 24 7 again like we have been doing and um we're also not going to look at houses every day again we're only going to look at the ones that really seem to fit us we're okay with a fixer upper if we have to do certain things too and we're okay if we have to add a whole new room but it just has to be realistic financially as well as the location and at the end of the day the home has to function there are different few things that we looked at even from just buying bare land but obviously we would have to pay rent where we live now plus paying on the property we're figuring it out it just has been time consuming and that is the reason why we haven't made any videos also the kids are back to school they require a lot more time with homework homework gets harder schoolwork gets harder they have games birthday parties that they've been going to and dante been working like crazy so a lot of our time just went into regular life stuff and that's the only reason why we haven't been able to make videos like we wanted to of course we could have vlogged during the time but it just didn't seem like it was so interesting you know or it was tiring because some of the things just really took our entire day and while you're busy it's hard to have a camera in your hand the entire time and vlog that and edit it and do the same thing again so but anyways things are slowing down now we're back and we're not just back with making videos we're also back to fishing it's even more packed than it was yesterday i think so not right here yeah like right there yeah and then over there in the woods that whole area is packed with cars people got their real fishing gear on 
it's okay we're, we're fine with getting a little bit wet the kids are in school yesterday i told you guys that dante was working today so i was wrong i forgot that he's off he's off for this whole week so we're on another fishing date and this time we're going to use the tips that you guys gave us and that the guys yesterday gave us so yeah we're ready i'm waiting for dante to finish eating i already had my chicken and um and then we're gonna get started same spot as yesterday except that we didn't walk all the way down there behind those bushes we are kind of staying right here in the open area we had one of the viewers give us a tip today and which was that yesterday I had the gear above the rod and he mentioned that I should have it underneath it so there it is I changed it we're going to be fishing like that Dante did the same thing as you can see so you know we didn't really realize that because there are different fishing poles of course and some of them you have the gear on top of the rod when you have that little button and you know I don't know all the fishing terms yet because obviously we're new to this but that was a good tip so appreciate that we don't want nobody laughing at us but uh, Dante actually got that tip yesterday from some of the fishermen he was talking to yesterday and they mentioned it to him so we fixed that today we appreciate the comments and the tips so if you guys are familiar with fishing for salmon go ahead leave a comment down below if you can give us any more tips and uh, for now I'm going to be using the hook and the little bead if you have any better ideas comment down below Dante's over here already getting started let's see if he's going to get anything I still have to change my weight out. I gotta make it a little bit heavier. What you got on the hook? The bead? Nothing else? Yeah, so he's got the, the bead on there too. But let's hope that we get something today. I know that was the spot yesterday, all the way down there. But we decided to give it a try here because it's less crowded here for now. All right, let's get it. I don't need y'all to make any comments on how I throw because I know I throw like a girl. And maybe eventually I'll get better at it. <laughs> so we've been about 30 minutes and I believe I tried I haven't caught anything yet but it hasn't been really long so that's all right we still have some time left Dante got a chance to speak to one of the fishermen again that was out here yesterday and he got some more tips and I think he gave him a few new I don't know little pieces of fishing gear I believe let's see Dante's right here he just threw it in did he give you some good tips? Yeah. He did. yeah. The weight. He just showed me how to do the hook better. Yeah. That's good. Well, I hope we'll get something. He said that well, we were all the way over there where we're parked, and he said that we should come over here where the water is moving faster. He said he thinks we would have more luck here, so. I hope he's right, but as you can see, some other people here too, so this must be a good spot. But we'll see. Water's looking real nice. It's cold though, and it's rainy. My fishing pole's right there. I'm about to get it and uh, get back to it. But before I try my luck again, I have to say, again, so far I'm impressed by how nice people are here in Washington State because I feel like everywhere we go, people are willing to give you information, help you, or show you how, tell you where. And yeah, they're really nice. I, I really like it here. So 
Anyways, I'm about to get to it. Let's hope I catch a fish. just put all of our gear in the trunk we wanted to stay we want to stay but sorry guys my camera died so i had to wait till we got home to be able to charge my camera and continue to vlog but we actually were only fishing for about an hour and a half because Dante had an appointment so we had to cut it short we wanted to stay because we were so sure that we were going to catch something but unfortunately we just had to stop fishing for that day we might try again tomorrow we'll see because Dante still has a few days off so we're definitely gonna make something out of it but for the rest of the day today i ended up just chilling i ran some errands went grocery shopping and i got tiana right here she just came back from school say what's up to the vlog <laughs> hi nana <laughs> stop pretending like you were sleeping are you sleepy yeah so we'll see this is the reason why the kids haven't been in the vlogs like that either because they've been tired man let me show you what trey is doing he's here too he actually gets here before tiana but i have to be quiet because i'm pretty sure he's sleeping too let's see He's also sleeping <laughs> and Tavian is still at football he doesn't get back until six so that's how our days has been going it's been pretty wild and tiring even with the kids we still have homework to do Trey has homework Tiana has homework and I'm not sure about Tavi yet because he gets here in two hours but like I mentioned to you it's just regular life stuff that's why we haven't been able to post videos like we wanted to but as you can see we are back the kids are most definitely going to be in the vlogs again more often maybe not like last year because obviously they're a little bit older now school is longer school gets harder and now that they're back in school and are not doing remote learning dad is taking a lot of time from us as well so i don't know we're just gonna see how it goes but tiana has a great idea for a vlog it's a challenge tavian has a good idea for a vlog and he still wants to get tiana back on the prank stuff so we're going to continue that so you guys just make sure that you stay tuned if this is your first time tuning in make sure that you smash that subscribe button don't forget to leave us a really big thumbs up and smash that bell so you can get a notification when our next video drops which will be tomorrow we out